Is this, um, is this that where people come to visit their loved ones? People that are incarcerated in here, right here? Yeah. It's a public lobby? It's not a public lobby, it's the state of Colorado lobby. But it's open to the public? Yes. Okay. It's a public lobby. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Alright, well, hey, thanks for your help, man. Please back up and film across the street as we've requested in Lieutenant Williams and my truck. You guys already called the cops on us. We haven't called them yet, but we This guy just said call DPD. <laughs> We're going to have them come and have a conversation with you and educate you. We're going to have them come and have a conversation with you and educate you in reference to what you can film at a crash on the floor. YouTube. On today's episode of Know Your Rights, we will be covering a video from the YouTube channel, Donut Hole Audits. Please take a moment and head over to their YouTube channel and show them some love by subscribing to their channel. Today's video took place on February 26, 2022 in Denver, Colorado. The auditor in today's video, along with Denver Metro Audits, was doing a First Amendment audit of the Denver Reception and Diagnostic Center. The auditors were on public property the whole time and never crossed a restricted area sign. But that didn't stop the correctional staff from trying to violate the auditors' rights by kicking them off public property. Ultimately, the Fillings Police were called and they tried to play the good cop, bad cop routine. But that didn't end well for them either. Now, let's dive right into today's video and see how this played out. See that. He, he asked, it's in the, the gatehouse. Uh, he asked that you guys step across onto the sidewalk and are more than welcome to um, do whatever you do from the sidewalk. So, if you have cameras in, in the public area, then you can get trespassed. Is that what you're saying? Um, that's up to the state, whatever they want to do. My supervisor is just asking that you guys um, step out on the sidewalk. Well, he's asking, but we can refuse. Well, he's. He's asking before it escalates, obviously. Well, what's escalation mean? What are you going to do? Well, you guys are trespassing. Well, you can't trespass on public property unless we commit a crime, sir. That's the way trespassing works. If it's posted. Can you show me? You said it's posted. That. I'd like yeah. to see that. Can we see it? It's actually, you can't. You can You're more than welcome to go to the gatehouse and see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can, you, can you take it, sir? Can you turn off the camera while? No. No. What does it say? Yeah. Says, says, we were talking to the guy over there, he said that people can come in there to visit their uh, family that's incarcerated. Oh, we totally fine here. So that this is, is open to the public. But it, it is true. Yeah, so Actually, I mean, visiting... if we have, this is a lawful activity, so we're not breaking the law. I so, don't know. Yeah, so this is public property. You can't trespass us from public property unless we commit a crime, sir. That's the way the law works. So, I mean, we do this all the time. We know what we're doing. I understand. Yeah. I understand. So, Where are you guys from? All right, we're going to go ahead and get out of here then. Right. We'll go back to where we were. <laughs> My job. Your job is to follow law abiding citizens around? Um, they're on state property, yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. so who, fun, who funds that? What if we were just walking around here, like if we were uh, visiting someone, would you guys come and follow us around then? Um, if you were doing something out of the norm, yes, we would. Out of the norm. So what what is out of the norm about uh, public photography? So if a visitor came to visit an offender, they would park and they would come inside and we would process it. Yeah, but I mean, what do you suspect us of doing that you would follow us around? I don't suspect you guys are doing anything other than filming. And... That's what I'm saying. We're not committing a crime. We're not doing anything wrong. Sure. This, this is a First Amendment protected activity, right? 16-3-311 allows us to record in a public space, which this is. Okay. But you're over here wasting taxpayer dollars that we pay to just follow us around. Actually, I'm not. I'm paid to ensure that the facility is secure. And that's what I'm doing. So you're just going to follow us around the whole time that we're here? Like, what could we be doing that would make this facility not secure? What could somebody be doing? 
there's, there's a there's a, a laundry list of things that you could be doing. Can you tell me one or two? I'm sure you guys can figure out what people would be doing that wouldn't be allowed. Yeah, but so far we're not doing anything that's not allowed. <laughs> and that may be true. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's see what I'm saying then? You're, you're, uh, you're following us around because we could be doing something that we're not allowed to do, but we've been out here for about 20 minutes now and haven't okay. done anything that we're not allowed to do. So. Okay. I'm, I'm not accusing you of doing anything. Okay. Well, well if you want to just keep following us around, being creepy, man. <laughs> All right. Yes. Sure. Public information officer to film here. You're not going to answer questions? Nah, we've asked, we've answered enough questions from the Lieutenant Williams over there. We're good. Let's call DPD. You can film from across the street, but you're not allowed on state property without authorization, all right? Yeah, but people come in here every day to visit people visitors in that public lobby without authorization. It's not true. Visitors are for visitors, for facility business, and or the people that we have incarcerated in the facility, not for you to roam around our road and take film well, of says security, or security sensitive so what's stuff. What's the difference between there and right here? This is our property. Can I film from here that I can't take the film from there? Whatever you think you can film from out there, then you can ask. And if you want to come inside or over the fence, you can contact the public information officer. No, we don't want to do that. We just want to stay in the public area. You were just on a perimeter road that you're not authorized to be on. Well, there's, you there's, no, there's no signs over here saying that that's... Did that, you see all the correctional signs? It says yeah, over there, there, right here, it says there visitor <laughs> parking. And this is a road that's not facility access. It says so service access. That's why the gates are over there. All the way around. That's why the gates are over there. And our property is where the fence line is. So if you're not going to answer any questions or you felt like you've done enough, we'll just call the PD and let them talk to you, okay? Well... Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day. Wait, can I get your name, sir? You're good, my friend. I'm the warden. You're the warden? Yeah. Well, you're the one that's responsible for mass incarceration for victim of crime? If, if I sentence the court, that's the rule. Hey, bud, we're good. You don't need to film here. You don't have. You don't have any authority to be here. Please you don't have any authority to touch me. What's wrong with you? You did. You, you, no, was, you touched my arm. I didn't. <laughs> did you get that on did camera? Touch his arm. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I felt it on my arm. You went like that. Right, well, what would happen back. if I tapped you on your arm, you bud? Did that, man, man. All right, yeah. Yeah. All right. You're good. Thank you, man. Please back up and film across the street as we've requested in yeah. Lieutenant Williams and my truck You guys already called the cops on us. We haven't called them yet, but we This guy just said call DPD. <laughs> We're gonna have them come and have a conversation with you and educate you. We're gonna have them come and have a conversation with you and educate you in reference to what you can film at a church on the tour. Thanks, guys. What's your name, though? I know you're the warden, but you need to the warden long. That's what I said. Warden long? Yep. Stupid, man. Attention visitors. The guys trying to give us unlawful orders. Oh, this is saying this isn't open something. to the public, but clearly this is open to the public. The other officer already came out here and said this is open to the public. People can come in here. Let's say 16 9 117. CRS? Nope. The one they try to say. 16 9 117, that's the same yeah. one in Denver. Yeah. It has nothing to do with photography. Oh. I mean, they can use that. Um, for people causing a disturbance in the lobby, but not for the I want to jump in real quick and talk about the criminal code they have posted on the door. Colorado Criminal Code 18 9 117 covers unlawful conduct on public property. It states it is unlawful for any person to enter or remain in any public building or on any public property or to conduct himself or herself in or on the same in violation of any order, rule, or regulation concerning any matter prescribed in the subsection. At no place in this criminal code does it talk about public photography. But then again, the First Amendment of the Constitution guarantees the right of free press. So this criminal code would not apply to this situation. Fellas, yeah. if you find the film, ask whatever questions you want. If this is the lieutenant's spot, this is state property, he just wants you to go to the sidewalk and do all your stuff from out there, okay? The state property is public property and this is open to the public. This is not a restricted area, sir. He's in charge of this property. This is his property. He's in charge of it. It's this just his like property? It's just like the post office. Post office is state property, right? But you can be told that you are not allowed in there. Nope. We do this for a living, yeah. sir. We go to I post offices you. all the time. I understand. That's not asking. But just because it's a public place doesn't mean that you can't be told that you can't be. For what reason? He asked you? Doing nothing, no. wait, doing nothing illegal? 
He asked you. Okay. It doesn't, he asked. doesn't matter. He asked you. Yeah. Guys, go to the side. Yeah, he asked. Okay. Okay. All right. So now, what you're doing is you're trespassing. Okay. I don't want to make this any worse. All right. You guys can do your thing. We don't want to bother you. We just ask you to go to the side. A couple okay. things. One, can I get your uh, name and badge number, please? Yeah, my name. Yeah. Officer Nelson, badge is 19071. I'll give you a business card too when we're done yeah. talking, okay? And mine's Officer Hayes. I'm 17060. Thank, Thank you. Sir. Okay. I think uh, what we're doing is pretty reasonable. Oh, it's All completely right. unreasonable because okay, in order to trespass from public property, sir, mm -hmm. we have to commit a crime. That's the way the okay. law works. Okay. So you're telling us that they can just ask us to leave and yeah. we have to leave. No, that's completely not okay. true, sir. That's fine. And a post office, this public property is public property and mm -hmm. this is open to the public. Now this is a restricted area. Like I obviously can't go behind that fence right. and record or go right. back there period because that's a restricted area. This is open to the public. It says mm -hmm. visitor parking right there. Yep. So we are absolutely uh, okay. allowed to be oh, in here. You can sir. also be told that you can't be here by an employee of the state. For any reason? Can you sign in here? We have to break the law first. You don't have to break the law. Can you show me a, a statute? That I says don't have that? the statute in my hand. Well, come on, Mass, can you look it up or call a sergeant over here, maybe? We're not going to bother the sergeant with this. Can we get it? We okay. are requesting a we supervisor. We got a lieutenant right here. We're requesting a supervisor, sir. Okay, I'm not going to bother this. You have supervisor. to. We, we, it's your policy, sir. You can, we request you can a supervisor. Call you can call you have to. You can call him, that's fine. No, no, I'm you, telling you to call them, you sir. Very you're the public one, servant. Man. You're not being reasonable at all. You're trying, so you're you're trying to you're violate our us. rights, sir. We have I'm a right to be here. Right. You're totally you violating our rights. You're telling us that you you're trying to trespass property. us from public property. That's unacceptable. You're on state property. Uh, are you asking state us property is public state property, property, man. Who pays all for right, this? All right, how about this? Okay, pays you go to City Hall, right? State property. You're filming in City Hall. Yep. Someone has an issue with it. An employee, right? They can tell you you can't be in here anymore. Watch our videos. No. Right, no, you've seen a hundred times. This, this kind of stuff all the time. Times. I'm surprised you guys don't understand this, man. Usually, you, you you totally need to get an education, uh, Officer Nelson. Okay. That's completely cool. incorrect. That's completely right. incorrect. So, well, can look. you get a sergeant out here, please? That's your policy. We're requesting a sergeant. I'll talk to the sergeant a little bit, see if he wants to come out. Here. All right. I'm not from this district, so I don't know any sergeant. Before. We're helping this district out now because they have an officer's funeral. So, we'd really rather not be dealing with this. We'd yeah, we, we think you should just get back to work, man, because we're not committing a crime so we're just here doing a story we already told um to lieutenant williams that why we're here we're doing a story on mass incarceration so we're not breaking the law and you're trying to tell us that uh you can trespass us from public property that's totally incorrect sir okay well we'll have a little proceeding in court if that's what you'd like lieutenant okay for what yeah I mean, what that's what you want sir we what? definitely would have that dismissed and attach ourselves to your pension as long as possible saying you said you will have our day in court we will attach ourselves to whoever put the handcuffs on us we'll attach ourselves to your part of your pension as long as possible we'll file a, a, a lawsuit with the city and county of denver as well and uh this will video will go viral so that's up to you guys if you guys want to do anything about that it's going to look really bad on your department and yourself you guys staying warm yeah oh it's, we dress warm it's been super cold the last few days super super cold yeah i know we, we live here too Say those car hearts probably do a good job of keeping them warm. Cool. We got look, we got good cop, bad cop. <laughs> you didn't play that play that role. That's funny. <laughs> when was that bad cop? Huh? That bad cop? Yeah. Oh, dude, you're telling when us that you're telling Ricky. us you're trying to trespass us from public property. That's bad cop. This guy's over here trying to tell us compliment me on my car hearts being the good cop. I'm not allowed to be civilized. Sure you can. Well, sir, you came out here, you're with your partner over here who's trying to violate our rights. Um, you swore an oath to the Constitution, right, when you took your job as a Denver police officer? Okay. did. So this is a First Amendment protected activity, sir. And you're trying to tell us that we can't record on public property. We're not inside the, the facility or in the prison in a restricted area. We're in the public area, sir. We're allowed to record here. We know what we're doing. We do this all the time. Yeah, we, would been, we would have been gone a long time ago. We just didn't leave because we didn't want you guys to think that we were taking off on you. Uh -huh. that's, that's true. I mean, we're actually done with our story already, but this, they, you guys <laughs> called the cops, so they called the cops on us. So. Well, YouTube, I hope you liked this video. And please remember and go over and check out Donut Holes Audit's YouTube channel and show them some love by subscribing to their channel. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this one, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, if you have a video you would like me to break down, please submit the video at knowyourrightsnews at gmail.com. The link is in the description below. Until the next episode of Know Your Rights, stay safe out there.